So when Paul asked me to speak, I asked him, well, what do you want me to talk about? He said, oh, about two or three minutes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I promise I'd keep it short. So I, this was years ago, but I remember hearing or reading a story once that when Father Nipper Rosero came to California to the town of Mission Carmel, he had um, a military officer by the name of Gaspar de Bartolo with us. Now, being a military guy, when he set up his quarters, he had the soldiers dig a canal from the river to the quarters. So, they had all, all that so when um, Father Sarah saw this, he said, Oh, well, my, my people dig a canal from that canal over to, uh, to our crops. And St. Patrol got a little insensible. Wait a minute. That's a scouting plan. Um, you can't take that over. Um, but, but they worked it out. So I think that's the first known. All right. So I think that that's the first known argument here in Monterey. Uh, <laughs> but if you think about it, you know, whether the story is true or not, it's sort of emblematic of what happens in Monterey where you can get a future saint and a soldier to fight over water. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the past. So we're here to talk about the future. Um, and we're here to take another step toward that future, toward a long-term solution to our problems. Because by combining basic engineering and some high, tech, uh, high technology, um, we're going to clean up the water that basically nobody wants. Um, we're going to make it a valuable commodity for growers, homeowners, hotels, and businesses. That's pretty good. So remember, all water has been recycled at one time or another. We're just simply accelerating the process. Um, and by doing that, we're going to help save the Carmel River, help restore the seaside aquifer, meet a state mandate, and provide a steady and reliable source of water for this area. And that makes this a very happy day for all of us. But, you know, Paul thanked a lot of you earlier, and um, I'm going to do a little bit of the same because I, uh, I want to really recognize and, and express my appreciation to a lot of people. So first of all is the California Water Resource Control Board, which gave us a big check and, and a grant to fund this thing, which is an important part. And I want to thank all of you for coming and for all the political figures here who support the project. I also want to thank my fellow board members of the MRWPCA for some really tough negotiations, for some hard work, for staying the course and getting us on track to get here. Um, I also want to thank Bad, uh, Bob Brower and his board. They really worked a lot with us and kind of pushed us forward and helped fund a lot of what uh, we did up to this point. But you know, Bob and I are here simply because we got elected as officials. So what we did is we got to be chairman of our respective agencies because we got a few more votes than somebody else did. That's, that's our only qualification. But there are a couple of people here who actually know what they're doing and have done a lot of work to get us here. I want to especially thank them. They're the people who actually manage the water district and, and the uh, MRWPCA. They're the ones who have experience in financing, building, and running water projects. And we wouldn't be as far along without them. So we really appreciate them. You know, sometimes you have to get the right people in the right place at the right time. And Dave Sold and Paul Schudel are the right people. This is the right place. And now is the right time. So thanks for what you've done, gentlemen. Um, keep up the good work. But since we aren't done yet, please don't give up your day jobs. <laughs> <laughs>